Civilization or Barbarism in Authentic Anthropology by Dr. Sheikh Antajab. African Homo sapiens sapiens, as we have seen above, is confirmed particularly by the Homo 1 skull, which is at least 150,000 years old. Richard Leakey explained to me in May 1977 in Nairobi, Kenya, how these fossils were dated. They had been buried under layers of African Middle Pleistocene age in a region where the stratigraphy had not been disturbed by any tectonic movements. A piece of charcoal found at the distance one-third of depth of these fossils was dated at being more than 50,000 years old. And by exploitation, multiplying this age by three gives the age, the average age of the fossils. Dating by the uranium thorium method has confirmed this result by conferring an age of 130,000 years. This Omo 1 specimen is to be associated, as Dr. Leakey has done, with Kanjera man, a Homo sapiens sapien of the middle Pleistocene age that was discovered by Leakey in 1933. A conference that was held in Cambridge at the time concluded that in spite of their antiquity, the Kanjera fossils barely differ from modern man. At the time, as a result of criticism voiced by the British geologist P. Boswell, some doubt was cast on the age of these fossils. These doubts have now been removed because we know that this is a specimen of Homo sapiens sapiens with modern man's forehead and without a superorbital torus of any kind. Even these fossils were only 60,000 years old and they would still be the oldest of their species in the world. On the other hand, we know that about 30,000 years ago, the world's most ancient iron mine was being operated in South Africa and Swaziland for the extraction of hematite, red ochre, by a man who could be only a homo sapiens sapien. The mine contained 23,000 stone tools, the analysis of which was to allow determining which type of man was responsible for the mining. For we know or suppose that Neanderthal man also rubbed red ochre on his body. A block of hematite extracted from this mine was found on a piece of charcoal that Yale University dated as being 29,000 years old. These are the facts as they relate to Black Africa. Now let us look more closely at the chronology of Homo sapiens sapiens appearance on the other continents. The first Homo sapiens sapiens in Europe was, as we have already seen, the migratory Negroid who was responsible for our nation industry. Now the chronological facts relative to the antiquity of Homo sapiens sapiens on the African continent allow us to suppose that Grimaldi Negroid came from Africa and that he entered Europe through the Iberian Peninsula rather than from the east. All along this his path, he left still visible traces in the form of parietal rock drawings, none of which are to be found on the other supposed itineraries. And we will stop right there and pick back up. I mean, well, Riley, this is civilization or barbarism. Thank you.